Italy's falling population. 50 years ago in Italy, the number of people over 65 was equal to the number of children aged six or under. Recently, Italy's statistics office, Istat, showed that now there are 5.6 elderly people for every child. This change means that 24% of Italians are now over 65. The Italian population is decreasing every year with about 180,000 fewer people annually. The population is now just below 59 million and it might decrease to 48 million by 2070 if this continues. In Italian cities, you can easily see this aging trend. Many elderly men, often seen watching construction sites, have become a popular sight. This trend is known as the Umarel phenomenon. There's a noticeable decline in births too. In 2022, Italy had only 392,500 births and the fertility rate was 1.25. This situation is even more severe in Sardinia with a fertility rate of 0.95. As a result, schools are closing. In the past nine years, 2,600 schools have shut down. It's expected that in 10 years, there will be 1.5 million fewer students. Italy is unique in Europe for its low fertility rates. The average age for women having their first child is 31.4. This is partly because many young Italians, up to 70.5% of those aged 18 to 34, still live with their parents. Economic factors also play a role. Italy is the only European country where wages have fallen from 1990 to 2020. The average salary is lower than the European average, making it hard for young people to afford children. In Italy, fewer women are working compared to other European countries. Only 51.3% of women of working age have jobs, which is low compared to countries like Germany and the UK. Professor Arnstein Asfer from Milan's Bocconi University says that young Italians are struggling to find their way. Italy has a high percentage of young people who are not working or studying, and many talented Italians are moving abroad. Some believe the low birth rate in Italy is due to the strong family ties. Families often take care of their elderly and young, which might prevent them having more children. The issue of Italy's declining population is becoming a political concern. Giorgia Maloney's government sees the birth rate as a symbol of national strength. In the past, she has spoken about the Great Replacement Theory, suggesting a deliberate replacement of Europeans with immigrants. To encourage more births, Maloney has reduced taxes on baby products. However, increasing the birth rate is a challenge. Even with more births, it takes decades for these children to contribute to the workforce. Some demographers suggest immigration as a solution. Linda Laura Sabadini from ISTAT believes immigration is the only immediate solution to support Italy's aging population and pension scheme. However, some argue that Italy doesn't need to find a solution to this aging trend. The EU funded project Futures challenges the idea that an elderly population is a problem. Instead, they suggest seeing it as an opportunity for new policies and business ventures in elderly care. After years of unsuccessful policies to increase the birth rate, it might be wiser to accept the current demographic trend and develop policies that reflect this reality rather than trying to reverse it.